I'm Dr. Chun, a gastroenterologist at the Corvallis Clinic. I want to talk about a common problem that people face in digestive health, constipation. Constipation can be defined by bowel movements that are too hard, too small, too hard to get out, or happening less than three times a week. There are many causes of constipation, including from side effects of certain medications or digestive diseases, or from a diet low in fiber intake. Today, I'm going to focus on one of the more common causes of constipation, which is poor diet. If I can highlight one thing, it's that fiber is your friend. So, what is fiber? Fiber is a substance found in fruits, vegetables, and grains. Fiber can help regulate your bowel movements and change the texture so that stools are softer to pass. The recommended daily fiber is about 25 grams of fiber for women and 35 grams of fiber for men. A good example of fiber content is an apple with a peel, which can be about 5 grams of fiber. So about 5 apples can equal the daily amount of fiber you need. Of course, I'm not recommending that you eat 5 apples a day. However, I do recommend a mix of fruits and vegetables that will equal to about 25 to 35 grams of fiber per day. An added bonus of eating fiber is that it can lower your risk of heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. It can also help you avoid hemorrhoids and fissures. Hemorrhoids are blood vessels that can cause pain and discomfort with straining, and fissures or paper cut-like areas can happen with pushing and straining. One word of caution about fiber, if you're not used to having fiber in your diet, you should gradually build up your fiber intake. A sudden increase can cause bloating and discomfort. For example, you can start with one apple a day for a week, then gradually build up one more serving per day each week. Make sure you incorporate eight to 10 glasses of water throughout the day for hydration. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I hope that you will increase fruits and vegetables in your diet for a healthier future. For more information about digestive health concerns, please contact me at the Corvallis Clinic.